Why do Latinos support Trump? I'm a Latino. I don't support Trump. What are you talking about? The title of this video is Why do Latinos support Trump? I didn't say Why do all Latinos support Trump? Let me clean this pencil out. The black. I was watching on, uh, again on YouTube, um, Trump just uh, finished the, um, some drug pack some drug packaging plan with American other uh, drug companies. <coughs> I know that it's, um, you know, big pharma. Satan's daughter, you know. But when Obamacare wanted to uh, tell us what was best and uh, made my insurance rates go up because I had um, that time three jobs at once and for not going to, for being a productive member of capitalism and uh, being single without kids. I got taxed more. Fuck that, man. So that other motherfuckers could just um, be reckless with their life plans and I could, I could pay for it. Fuck that. And there's an exception to the rule, right? Because uh, someone out there probably did need Obamacare, but... When Trump speaks about making America great again, why not? What's wrong with that? I don't see anything wrong with that. I think it's beautiful. So many of us think, you know, it's the government's job that I that they need to pay for my college, yo. Why do you want to put that on um, my parents, my guardians, my step parents, my family, my community? It should be all of y'all, y'all racist bastards. Mm-hmm. If we keep thinking like this, eventually the time will come where some some big group of idiots will pass a bill that says free Corvettes um, with GPS and Bluetooth for every high school every high school graduate. We deserve it. How do you expect us to get around? No doubt that um, HMOs filled with PMOs and hospitals are in it for for a profit, right? Everyone does everything for for a profit. Even motherfuckers that rake leaves, right, for a profit. Everything you fucking do is for a profit, some way, somehow. I just do charity work somewhere, you know. I just give uh, help out the poor. That money came from somewhere, from some business, some donation, some sort of capital, some sort of trade for goods. And they're Latino, specifically Mexicans. They say, how could you, how could you like Trump? You know, look at you, you straight out look like a fucking Mexican. He would deport you if you weren't born here. True thousand percent accurate my question is aren't you proud to be Mexican because the way you speak you say speak of Mexico as an incorruptible a paradise but you're proud of your roots when I think of Mexico I think of uh, Gangs, the cartels, and the drug dealing cartels. Because politicians are literally in bed with these motherfuckers. I like uh, a lot of the videos um, of uh, La Tuta. 
He was the leader of the Caballeros Templarios. And then I believe that because of his men got out of hand, that sort of attracted bad attention to him. But I remember seeing all the um, the local mayors, uh, politicians, all the uh, all the all the somebodies. All the Catholics, all the religious, all, all the ones that were way better than me, all the ones that are going to heaven, all the ones that are um, politically correct, all the ones that are normal compared to me, doing their fucking dirty business with this motherfucker. And no, I got no problem either with drug dealers either. Because they exist, because we want them to. We allow them to. <coughs> I don't want no drug dealer in my block. No, man, I never told anyone I want a drug dealer here. Of course, this is not you, right? You uh, neglecting your child, your daughter, your son, the twins. I gotta go home and watch the game. Come here, daddy. Come here, mommy. Let me show you what I just worked on today. Oh, not right now, motherfucker. I'm so fucking tired. Leave me alone. It's stupid. It doesn't work. Oh, but what about the local gang leader, the local bad boy, the local gold digger, the local corrupt bitch? I'll give you attention. You don't need them. I'll give it to you. Gosh, you're so nice. Hey, I got an idea. My friend's in town this Sunday. He brought this shit that we could put up our fucking nose, shoot into our fucking veins. Smoke. Want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. You're my friend. Actions, reactions. When we tell our kids the next generation, oh, everything's gonna be alright. That's stupid, don't think about that. It'd be like uh, saying, hey, what's that, what's that noise that your car makes when it, when it drives? Following week. Man, that noise has gotten bigger, what is that? Eh, don't worry about it. Third week, fucking, um, Man, uh, that thing sounds horrible, man. What, what is it? Ah, still works. Just go. Fourth week, axle brakes. Uh, engine blows out. Steering wheel gets locked. Some shit happens. Car accident on the highway on the freeway going 65 miles an hour impact dead no longer a problem people are at the funeral now how could this have happened imagine if, would, if uh, people would only discuss and take care of problems and they were small, minute I know that I've had uh, things that uh, I could have uh, taken care of more appropriately when they were tinier, smaller problems, moments of uh, lost focus. And what Trump, when he says that, uh, calls out the rapists, the drug dealers, the gangbangers, MS-13, and a uh, shout out to all the MS-13 homies, I've got on pawns with you. You know, why did that gang start? Was it uh, 
Revolutionary Forces. Back in Civil War in El Salvador. Again, these are just a bunch of kids that made a bunch of stupid ass fucking decisions. No, I'm not letting them off the hook. And and as as you guys aged, you guys know that fuck, why was I acting a fool? Testosterone, trying to be cool. TV, the gangster movies. And uh, these things, uh, well, man, they need to be addressed, man. They need to be addressed. Some people believe that, oh, because he has a suit and tie, he or she has a suit and tie, a college degree, white collar. Yeah, they're dependable, they're trustable. What shady fucking shit have we seen some of these motherfuckers and white collars do? But, it's against the law to be a vigilante. Vigilante. So I like my freedom. So I'll be a good boy, but I've seen real pieces of shit that, uh, you know, on the outside, they've got the they've got the career, the business. Hey, how's it going, guy? Welcome. Good morning. Welcome to my business. How can I serve you? How can I help you? Yes, come on in. But a totally different motherfucker with an agenda under those fucking eyes. This is uh, man, such a, to me it's a bit of a challenging uh, subject to speak about because when I've seen some of the victims of such pieces of shit, I was all avoidable. Someone else said, nah, don't worry about it, you know, it's all good, you know, it's all good. The politician said, don't worry about it. The TV stars, the movie star says, don't worry about it. It's all good, buddy. Chill out. Chill out, homie. And, uh, no, Trump is that fucking, uh, he's that fucking, uh, is it the Matrix? And the, is he the red pill? To reveal the truth? I think he is. Sweaty over here. And uh, it's like uh, if you're a fat motherfucker who, uh, I'm getting fat, right? But uh, I could lose uh, more than a few pounds. But if, if my concern was really uh, becoming diabetic or, um, Gain heart attack, stroke, um, heart disease. What other shit is there? Whatever. If I really um, I'm scared. I'm scared of dying. Um, I know that I would uh, eliminate all caffeine. Um, what else could I do? Caffeine, increase the cardio, increase the anaerobic weights. Um, less red meat. And uh, other shit like that, but... No. But I'm responsible for my own health and... Man. 
I'm just going all over the road because there's just a, a bunch of emotions where we we want to blame everybody else, everybody else except us. You know, I'm sitting right here, right now, in this position, in this time, in this um, room temperature. Because this is what I've decided um, what works for me, what I deserve. And I'll say that because um, all the actions that led up to them, I made those decisions. Whether the judgment was good or bad. Um, yeah, that was me, man. That was me. I'll mark it all the way down. It's red. Yeah, Trump just reminds me of all the shit that uh, Mexico was supposed to be, but doesn't have the balls to be. It's too corrupt.